Hey Virgo, welcome. This is your total solar eclipse reading. Um, it's going to happen on the 20th of April at 12, 12 a.m. in the morning. Um, it is a time for brand new beginnings. Renewal energy, um, brand new beginnings. This energy is going to last all the way till 2025. So when you're manifesting and you're putting out there what you want, um, make sure it's from a grateful heart because what you're putting out there will come to you and it will be, you know, you want it to be exactly what you're asking for. So attitude is gratitude. Increase your vibration before you start manifesting because it will come to you all the way until 2025. We also have a new moon that's occurring on the 20th and I will be doing a separate reading for that. And cherry on the cake is... Mercury in retrograde the 21st of April till the middle of uh, May. So that will also be a separate reading. So we're just going to see what messages need to come towards you in terms of love. Now it's not going to completely resonate for each and every one of you. It's not a personal reading. So regarding your situation, the relationships in your life, take what resonates and then always watch your rising moon and Venus sign readings for additional clarity. And this is how it's going to affect your sign. Trust in the divine plan that is unfolding for you, Virgo. After all, with a solar eclipse charging up your intimate eighth house of mergers, joint ventures, and shared resources, a disruption could make up your could shake up your foundation in ways you're not expecting. Its ruler Mars continues to ignite your eleventh house of community affairs, but it will simultaneously face off with the wounded healer Chiron, emphasizing a core wound, perhaps regarding privacy or autonomy. You're in the process of healing. Challenged by powerhouse Pluto in your sixth house of health, routines, and acts of kindness, this is an opportunity for you to transform the dynamic of your contributions and service to others as it will ultimately lead you to your freedom and personal catharsis. So, there's going to be heightened emotions. There's going to be um, people that are very near and dear to you on your mind and in your heart a little bit more now. Um, definitely emotion feelings. And, and, you know, so let's see what's coming towards you. I do offer personal readings, guys, but my Etsy shop is on vacation mode at least for two weeks. I need to get caught up on readings, but you can always click on the link below. It's in the description box and head over there. Favorite the shop. That way when it reopens, um, you'll get the notification. And for those of you that are new, I'm grateful you're here. I'm giving away three free love readings for the month of April. So go ahead and subscribe and leave a flower emoji in the comment section of each reading that you view of mine during this month of April. I'll choose three people this month randomly and reach out to those people at the end of the month. And I'll always remind you to check your notifications because, you know, it will be through YouTube that I reach out to you initially. I do this each and every month. Each month it'll be something different that I'm giving away in terms of private readings. Um, but also, around the holidays, I do monetary gift cards. We have avoidance and stalemate. So I feel like an energy of like not really moving, of not wanting to make a decision. You could be dealing with a Libra. But I feel like there is going to be a balancing of scales. There is going to be movement here. Yeah, there will be growth. You may be dealing with somebody whose birthday is in the summer. But I feel like for some of you, your answers are going to arrive around that time. And there is more air energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You also could be a Libra, Virgo, Libra, Cusp. You may have strong air in your chart.
But I definitely feel like there's going to be growth within a situation. Or where you haven't maybe received any love offers or had any, you know, movement in your love life. I feel like there's communication coming in. Intoxicating love and forgiving love. All right, guys, let's see. Karmic partner, conventional relationships, duty, bound by societal conventions. For those of you that feel this energy, you may be with someone where, you know, everyone around you loves this person, and you may know that they're a good person, but you're just not feeling it. You may feel that, like, you know, it's not going anywhere, you know, that you don't see long term with this person. For some of you, with that coming up, you may have a decision to make, especially if you hear from someone of the past that's asking for forgiveness. Understand who you truly are. This journey begins with you. So this is like the Hermit Mirrored Virgo. It's like that sake, that soul searching. Just make sure what you put out there that you want, you're being honest with yourself. And that you truly desire it. Because it will come to you. And marriage. We have an engagement ring here. And two wedding bands here. I do feel. Could even be two people separate it. You know, pending, you know, divorce. And, you know, reconnect. Realize what was what draw, drew them to one another to begin with. But I definitely feel somebody has a lot of passion for you. And wants to confess their feelings for you. Let's see what's coming through. Bottom of the deck, Six of Cups, right off the bat. And the Nine of Kings. So, I feel like within this time that you've been in separation from this person, you have focused on yourself. You know, you're thriving, you're maintaining your stability, the security for yourself. But I feel like there's definitely somebody that you've been involved with in the past that you've made that lasting impression with them. Eight of rings. Like I said, being focused and dedicated on yourself. This could be something that stemmed from work or doing business with someone, but it's the energy of doing what you love to do. Maintaining that stability, like I said. Taking your mind off things and focusing on what brings you joy. Here we have the transformation, the metamorphosis. Soul searching, growth, self-evaluation. I really feel like it's been a time of an awakening for you, possible you know, like I said, transformation, but, you know, realizing that you're not going to let anything hold you back. Yes, it was a hard ending. Yes, it was a, it was a trial that you needed to go through. And, and I do feel that you have gone through growth within yourself. But I feel like for some, you may have outgrown other situations. You may have outgrown people. And there's the moon. I really feel like somebody 
is suffering in silence for you. strong Libra energy here and I yeah I feel like this person is hiding how they truly feel about you I really feel like they're suffering in silence it's like within this pause within this ending with this person um, a light bulb has gone off in their mind in their head we have fire energy here Libra so we have air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Cancer. Virgo, they could be younger. If you're dealing with a younger, a younger sign, we have younger water energy here. Okay, Virgo, it says your best friend, your lover, the one that holds your heart together. There is this past love. They really feel like you are their perfect person. You are their, it's like a power couple here. And they do, they want to return and overcome, overcome these burdens with you. I have strong Leo energy here. I have strong air energy here, specifically Libra. And like I said, water energy. I really am feeling like a light at the end of the tunnel for the two of you. What else do you have for Virgo during this total solar eclipse? Thank you. Yeah, see, things were complicated. Your person may have seemed emotionally unavailable. I really feel like they didn't tell you exactly how they were feeling. And there's more air, air energy here. I feel like they just didn't want to put their wall down. Maybe have, maybe they were emotionally unavailable during this time. But now since being in that in that um, hangman energy, they realize, yeah, see, they want a brand new beginning with you. They definitely want to start over. That light is shining. Look at this. Look at this. They're following that light to you. You were that light in their life. And they are definitely taking that, that, you know, it's like they're playing their hand. They're taking that chance. They may like to do yoga, but this is more air energy. I definitely feel that they have been, they have definitely spent some time thinking about you. Thinking about you. And you know what I just heard? Thinking about you. Thinking about us. I can't remember that song. Thinking about you. It was all just it was all just a dream. I can't I can't get the exact words, but it's like they spent some time thinking about themselves, thinking about you, thinking about the two of you together when you were in a good energy. And you possibly could be hearing from them by the summer.
right? We have. I'm so sad it's over. I wish it could be different. Do you love me the way I love you? See, now that they realize you're connected at the soul level, now it's like they have that fear, anxiety. Have you moved on? Do you still feel that way about me? Do you realize we have this soul tie? I love you today, tomorrow, and always. I was just not a fool for saying it. Unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. And that is definitely what I am feeling. You mean more to me than I could ever tell you. All right, Virgo, clear that mind of yours and take that deep breath. I'm going to read you your affirmations for this total solar eclipse. And then I'll pull Scrabble tiles. All right, only one wanted to come out. The past is over. Today is a new day, one that I have never lived before. I stay in the now and enjoy each and every moment. Remember, just because you walked away from something of the past, it does not mean that it will not, it's com over and completely done with. I mean, yes, you could make that decision for that to happen, but you're just moving on with you, making yourself the priority. Can you believe I can get a bunch of scrapple tiles in my hand? All right, here we go. V, I, E, J, T, D, a blank Scrabble tile, G, R, N, L, and then the rest are repeats. All right, we only have I and E for vowels, but that's okay. Take what resonates. Um, leave that flower emoji letting me know you're interested in the giveaway this month for three free love readings. Go ahead and subscribe. Visit my Etsy shop and favorite it so that when I reopen, you can um, get that notification that I have. And always, always let me know how it resonates. I'm always intrigued by everybody's readings. I am sending you so much love and light. Hoping you all have a great weekend.